Dr. Mindy Hare, and I'm gonna do something totally different on this video. I'm gonna start answering a lot of your hormonal questions. So if you are new to my channel, I wanna say welcome. I am a woman on a mission to get women healthy again. Men, I want you to be healthy too, but as you will see in many of my videos here, that women, we need to approach healthcare a lot different because of the vast array of our hormones. And what I wanna do on this video is really address what it means when you have a very heavy period. This is like when, it's, when you have a clumping, when you feel like you're almost hemorrhaging, what does that mean? And can fasting help that? What can we do to course correct um, and help you smooth that period out? So if you're new, just hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and I am teaching from the book. We are excited, me, my team, my community, to get this book out into the world. So you're gonna hear some of the, the ways in which I can answer this question through the book, but I wanna make sure you have a clear answer at the end of this video, so stay tuned. Let's dive in. What happens when you have a really heavy period? So Fast Like a Girl, it's ready for pre-order now. I hope this book changes your life the way the information has changed hundreds of thousands of women that have applied it. From the bottom of my heart, enjoy and let's get healthy together. Okay, so this actually happened to me um, when I went into my perimenopausal years. For most of my life, I had really smooth, smooth cycle. I, I was like, it was like kind of a no brainer. Um, and then when I went into my 40s, a lot of the things I was doing, the extreme things, the extreme working out, the fasting longer, um, the restriction with food, um, the, those kind of things were starting to throw my cycle off. And so I had to find a natural rhythm back to my hormones. And I had to learn how to read the different cues of my hormones, especially in those perimenopausal years so I could understand what, they, what was going on. So what I want you to know is that when you get really heavy periods, especially when they're out of nowhere, that that is an indication of low progesterone. So, and this is really common after 40 because after 40, progesterone is going down. So we wanna mind the rules of progesterone. And if you just stumbled upon my videos today and you're like, what is this woman talking about? Um, I have talked a ton about the different hormones and their personalities. I also, in the book, Fast Like a Girl, I have a whole chapter on it. Uh, it's called Fasting a Woman's Way, where I really lay out the different hormones, their personalities, and the lifestyle that they, they, they are wanting you to have in order for them to benefit. So with pred when we get the, this heavy, heavy period, um, it can either be a lot of blood, it could be clumps of blood, um, or it could be a lot of blood coming very fast. And it's unusual for you, that's a sign of low progesterone. And here's what progesterone wants you to know. Progesterone needs cortisol, or it needs glucose to be higher. So you're gonna need to make sure that you're not in keto that back half of your cycle. I explain it all in the book. The other thing that progesterone needs is progesterone needs cortisol to be low. Now this is a hard one. So when cortisol goes high, progesterone becomes shy. And what I mean by that is any kind of stress. This can be working out too much. This can be fasting too much. This can be um, too many work meetings. This can be too many social events. Anytime we're just pushing, pushing, pushing cortisol, we're gonna see some challenges with progesterone. So you're gonna to wanna to try to balance your, your, your stress a little bit more, especially the week before your period. So if you're a woman over 40 and you know that week before your period, I want to tell you that you wanna eat a little more carbs, fast a little less, take your exercise down, stop your cold plunges, um, make a few cancellations to social engagements, and, and just nurture yourself. In the book, I call it the nurture phase. And I really chose that uh, purposely to remind you that when progesterone comes in, we need to nurture ourselves. And as women, a lot of times we find that we are, um, you know, we are people pleasers. We wanna please everybody and we wanna nurture everybody else. But here's what I wanna tell you. When progesterone comes in, when the week before your cycle, I really want you to start to nurture yourself. Love 
starts with loving yourself. Nurturing starts with nurturing yourself. When you do that, you'll find actually that um, the people around you, A, may not need as much nurturing because you're filled up um, or they may turn around and nurture you as well. But the most important thing is that you nurture yourself. The other thing that I want to tell you with these heavy periods is that week before, you might feel more introverted and that's okay. You might feel more weepy and that's okay. That's what progesterone wants. If she could talk to you, she would say, just sit on the couch, take amazing care of yourself, go to sleep a little bit earlier, um, the, geek out on your favorite Netflix series, um, don't push your exercise, maybe you do yoga, eat a few more carbs, grab a, a chocolate bar because it's got magnesium in it, um, and just relax and ease into this part of your cycle so that progesterone can do, can build. It's almost like in that rushing woman mentality and that go-go mentality, we are destroying progesterone and she just wants to be loved on. She just wants to be nurtured. So use these signs as I walk you through in future videos on some of these signs that are showing hormonal imbalances. I want us to get to know the language of hormones. That's one of the, the my, my um, pleas for the world is we're so hormonally illiterate. And, and I put myself in that category before I came to understanding all this. And it's really important that we understand our hormones. So that week before, make sure that you're nurturing yourself. Now, men, I want to talk to you for a moment. If you've hung through this episode all the way till the end, I, you know, you can be of great support to us um, the week before our cycle. You can nurture us. Um, I, I had a really cool conversation with a dad a while back where he was asking me how to really get to his teenage daughter. He was finding that there was distance between the two of them. And what I told him was that the best time to talk to her was not the week before her period. He should try to talk to her during ovulation because she would have all those hormonal superpowers and she would be able to articulate what she needs. When, when you try to connect with your, whether it's your daughter, your wife, um, whether it's a coworker, a female coworker, that week before the per their, your period, it can be a tough one because we feel so socially inner. And let us be there because we're building progesterone. And when we can let progesterone shine, then once our cycle starts, we're going to be a lot more extroverted. We're going to want to come out and chat with you a lot more. So really cool concepts. If you like this kind of video, you like me going into these symptoms, you like me talking about hormones from a relationship standpoint, let me know. I do want to tell you that we've had some incredible feedback on a couple of things. One, I have to give a shout out to those of you that are leaving me comments about how my teachings are changing your cycle. So if you are seeing differences using the fasting cycle, using the principles from the book, using the principles I teach here and your cycle is, is smoothing out, please tell your story in the comments. And I also have to say that I want to give a shout out to Heather Cummins, who um, put a, put something on one of our, my videos recently that so happy she found me and she just started to unwind years of messed up hormones after applying principles like I just taught you. Uh, she used to bleed almost to death before her period. Three units of blood. After three units of blood, five bags of estrogen and iron, I feel much better. So there's actually a really, look at what they did. She lost so much blood that they came back in with not only blood, but they came back in with iron. And then they had to come back in with estrogen because they needed to start to work on balancing estrogen and progesterone out. Um, and she um, she's now on progesterone. She's now using iron and she's fasting like a girl using the fasting cycle and things are starting to even out. So I, I, love, I love Heather's comment for a variety of reasons. Um, I would say everything that I advocate for is a multi-therapeutic approach. So what Heather did is she took ownership over her hormones. She understood them. And then she brought in several tools. She brought in using the, the iron and the estrogen. She brought in fasting like a girl. She brought in some progesterone cream. And sometimes when we're looking at hormones, it's, it, most times it's not going to be one thing. We got to bring in lots of things. So fasting like a girl, it's complex, it's fun, and we get to do it as a community. We get to come together and do it with the book. Um, if you haven't pre-ordered the book, I'd love for you to pre-order the book. We're having an incredible conversation on all my social media about this book. Uh, the pre-orders have been amazing, so grateful for those of you that are have pre-ordered. And if you have pre-ordered, I have a really special treat for you. I have pulled together three spectacular women 
Leanne Rimes, Danica Patrick, and Elle McPherson to do a webinar on December 20th, and it's called The Masks We Wear, and it's about how these three women have found their true nature, their true identity, their true heart in a very public world that they've been living in. It's really easy for us to look at these three amazing women and look at their accomplishments and look at their beauty. And what I know from interacting with these incredible humans is that um, they have been on some soul searching, really working to find themselves. And I want them to share that with you um, because there's something we can all learn from it. So join me in this incredible webinar. Your ticket in is the book. And if you want more information on it, just go to Fast Like a Girl. Um, and as always, I'm so grateful for you all. And tell your hormone story. Women, tell your hormone story in the, in the comments so that we all can learn from them. As always, hope that helps.